see John here. Here's a liquor of the day number 142. This is a Malmsteen meets Gambali Mixolydian lick. As usual, I'm going to play it once slowly and then break it down. And during the breakdown, I'm going to share some practice advice you can apply to this lick and pretty much anything else you're practicing. If you want tabs, you have a link down in the description below. So we're going to start here on the 19th fret of the high E string. As the title says, it's a mixolydian lick, it's an E mixolydian, and mixolydian is simply a major scale with a flat 7, so... And I call this Mountain meets Gambali because it sort of starts with this Yngwie type groups of four sequence. And then goes into some bridging in the middle as, as well, before getting into the ending of the lick. It's very much uh, inspired by Gambali. At least that's where I think I got got it from. Uh, not this particular shape necessarily, but the whole economy picking or Gambali picking, as he actually calls it now, which I think is fair because he really developed economy picking way further than anyone else. Anyhow, uh, with that said, uh, we start here on the 19th fret, the index finger. And we're going to play 19, 21, 22. Those are the notes. It looks like this. And we're going to do this Yngwie sequence, descending fourths. So in each set of three notes, we're going to go 1, 3, 2, 1. So 1, 3, 2, 1. Sounds like this. So then we move down to 17, 19, 21. Do the same thing. Move down to 16, 17, 19, do the same thing. And move down again to 14, 16, 17. And from here we're going to go down to the B string, where we have 17, 15, 14. Down to the G string, where we have 16, 14, 13. And then we go, go back on that string, so we're basically going to have a, a turnaround on that string. So from uh, at the top, We have four complete descending fourths, even though I kind of view the last one as part of this descending scale, but that's up to you. Just check out the, the tabs, like I said. And this is actually grouped uh, in six notes per beat. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. So this would be the downbeat again. Uh, so. Anyway, so we go down that far, and from here we're gonna string skip back up to the 12th fret. And from here it's very easy, we're just gonna go six notes, so. And that will set us up for a downstroke here on the 17th fret. And now we're gonna go down in the uh, Gambali type economy picking thing here. So basically, I'm gonna play uh, an E dominant 11th arpeggio. Uh, really though you can see this as a suspended arpeggio as well, uh, but we have the third as well, so and the seventh, so technically it would be an E dominant 11th. But it doesn't really matter, you just need to learn notes. So we have 17, 16, 17, 16. And it's kind of tricky with the fingering. So it's 4-3-4-3, four, three, four, three. at least the way, that's the way I'm playing it. Uh, and start this with a downstroke, like I said, and go down, up, up, up. And then, the next downstroke with our index finger, we're going to repeat the thing again, but with a slightly different fingering. So it's exactly the same notes. A, G sharp, E, D. So... So basically we have this. Now when we come to this point, you can't go there, oh, I mean you could. If you have a 7 string you can, but you're just gonna go down, up, up, 
down, up, last bit here. So down, up, 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 down, up, 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 down, up, up, down, up. So it can be quite tricky at first, but if you just work on it slowly, move it up and down in half steps, I think you'll be great. And this moving up and down in half steps is really important because what happens when you do that is that you kind of force yourself to view whatever scale shape or or patio you're playing uh, in relation to itself. And what I mean by that is that you're not going to relate it to like in this case, oh, we have the dots here. So I'm starting on the dot and another dot, you know, you kind of see where you're at depending on where the dots on the guitar is. Uh, but when you move them up in half steps, it's going to be changing constantly. So your brain is going to go for the next easiest option, which is actually seeing the shape itself. So I will just practice it like this. And then basically I will start down here actually and go all the way up and all the way back. Uh, and you can even do that in sections. You could break this one down, and maybe just go this far. Whatever you feel comfortable with, and then start adding from there. So, you know, you just come up with whatever permutation of this uh, or section of this run that you have trouble with, and then move that in half steps. So I really like this moving things in half steps type of practice, if you haven't noticed, but it really helps. And also I like the fact that you, you have like a specific thing. It's kind of like when you do a workout, if you would tell me like, well, we're gonna do uh, push-ups, pull-ups, squats, whatever. And you don't tell me how many we're gonna do. It's gonna be like, yeah, we're just gonna do whatever. It's not gonna be as good, I think, of a workout as if you say like, well, we're gonna do, X amount of this, X amount of that. So you have something to shoot for. Uh, so in this case, you basically just want to make sure you go up and down the whole fretboard and you get to experience all the different tensions because it feels different playing up here and on here and also the fret distance. And also the other thing that I just mentioned about the, the fact that you start seeing the shape in context of itself or in relation to itself, instead of just trying to relate it to the dots, which you can't see on the screen here, but they are here on the top. So it's a very important practice concept, uh, at least for me. So if you haven't tried that before, give it a try, because sitting around and just repeating something over and over again, it's the same place, it's soul destroying, and I don't think it gives you as much uh, per hour practice either. So yeah. That's pretty much it for this one. If you have any questions, just post them below. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one.